aluminium fins so uh, let's talk about the aluminium fins having a rectangular profile are attached on a plane wall with 5 mm spacing okay so the fins having thickness y is equals to 1 mm length is equals to 10 meters and the thermal conductivity k is this the wall is maintained at a temperature of 200 degrees celsius and the fins dissipate heat by convection into the ambient air at 40 degrees celsius with the heat transfer coefficient this so determine the heat loss so friends what you need to do is you actually know uh, what's the first step okay so first step will be to calculate the m m is again the fin parameter and the formula remains same uh, whether it is the insulated n or whether it is the uh, the infinite long uh, infinitely long fin so it is m is equal to root over hp by k a and fortunately everything is given to you so here it is that is root over hp by k a the cross sectional area i'm talking about so it is perimeter you all know it is 2 into the breadth plus the thickness right for the rectangular cross section and and the breadth into a uh, thickness is the cross sectional area for a rectangular cross section once again okay so it is just like you know uh, you uh, you can actually take the breadth uh, sorry the thickness into the consideration and if you do not want you can uh, actually neglect the thickness because it, the, the thickness is quite less here you can see the uh, the number okay and we all know uh, since uh, this is having the uh, the infinitely uh, this is having the insulated tip so that's why the formula goes like just now we have derived that is q is equal to root over hpka theta naught tan hml so you just put the values you just you have calculated you have all the values of p h k a t o t a and m just you have calculated so just calculate the value of q uh, and the numerical is done so uh, uh, if you want to you know check out uh, what we uh, what you uh, what you have done till now so the first thing that you have done is the calculating the q and for that you need to calculate the m because in this you are actually uh, you you're gonna get the uh, value m so value m has to be calculated first then only you can put that into q and you can go ahead okay so now the next numerical okay find out the amount of heat transferred through an iron fin of length 50 mm width 100 mm and thickness 5 mm assume k is this much h this much for the material of the fin and the temperature at the base of the fin as 80 degrees celsius also determine the temperature at the tip of the fin if the atmosphere temperature is 20 degrees celsius right so the solution is right in front of you so the length is given the width is given the thickness is given the k is given the h is given the base temperature is given and the ambient temperature is given right so the amount of heat transfer to the fin you all know when the fin tip is insulated when the fin tip is insulated so this is the formula see uh, one more thing i would like to tell you uh, suppose uh, if the fin length is not given then you need to deploy the formula for an infinitely long fin but when there is a definitive length for a fin there in the numerical is given in the numerical then you would apply the second the second thing the second one is the fin having insulated tip right so because it has l in it and l is the length earlier one there wasn't any term called l and l is the length again okay so the temperature so here it is q fin root over hpka theta naught 10 hml calculate you have everything temperature at the tip of the fin ql we know that this is the temperature profile you again have everything and just calculate this okay by now you have understood uh, that how to derive the relation for uh, you know temperature profile for a fin having insulated tip and by now again uh, you uh, you might have got acquainted with the term, uh, with the heat transfer through the fin uh, and and when the heat has to encounter the uh, the insulated tip then what will happen right okay now let's come to another numerical the another uh, the another numerical suggests that a carbon steel having thermal conductivity 54 watts per meter degree celsius rod with a cross section with a cross section of an equilateral triangle okay you can see it's an equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle we all know that the sides actually remain same okay uh, is 80 mm long 80 mm long on uh, okay it is uh, attached to a plane wall which is maintained at a temperature of 400 degrees celsius so when it is attached to a plane wall and when the temperature of the plane wall is given to you so it just uh, it should strike in your mind that it is to to we have uh, we have seen that it is the original temperature or the base temperature for that matter so 400 degrees celsius you mark it as to 
okay 80 mm long it has a definitive length so when it is uh, it is having a definitive length so you need to deploy the formula for the uh, means you cannot deploy the formula for the fin having an infinitely long length because the length is given here so the second one uh, will be there okay so it is attached to a plane wall which is maintained at a temperature 400 degrees celsius the surrounding environment it is ta market as ta and the unit surface conductance see uh, the name has changed okay the name has changed here so what uh, now what do you need to look at you need to look at the unit of that so unit of uh, thermal uh, thermal uh, means the convective heat transfer coefficient is basically watts per meter square degree celsius okay so when it is watts per meter square degree celsius so it will be h okay had it been like watts per meter kelvin so uh, it would have been talking about the k the thermal conductivity okay friends so uh, this is the figure okay it's a cantilever type of fin so everything is given so the length is given the width is given the to is given the ta is given the h is given and the k is given and the cross sectional area is basically of the equilateral triangle okay so heat dissipated by the rod q the heat flow from the rod considering tip of the fin to be insulated we all know what is the formula right so it is root over h p k a theta naught tan h m l right so you need to calculate everything is given here okay so m you need to calculate the fin parameter so it is like that so you will be having m is a simple mathematical uh, you know correlation simple mathematical juggling i may say okay so you will be getting fin parameter as 48.06 substituting the same values there in this equation and this is the parent equation of the heat transfer through a fin when the heat has to encounter the uh, insulated tip okay so just put the values here and you will get your heat okay simple friends so uh, you know uh, by now i think uh, you would be uh, you would be able to you know you know uh, you know do all the numericals related to this topic okay so the numericals are quite simple uh, had there been a numerical from the the first uh, the first topic that is from the infinite length and had there been a numerical from this topic so the thing is basically same so m the first thing is m because m is there in the uh, uh, in the formula for q the heat transfer and then it will be of q right 